שלום חברים, my name is Rabbi Yitzhak Shapira and I'm standing here in one of the most holy sites, if not the holiest site to Jews in uh, Akko. You notice there is a mezuzah of the door and you can read it with me perhaps, Bet Knesset Ramchal. You might not know who the Ramchal is. The Ramchal is one of our most controversial rabbis, Rabbi Moshe Chaim Lutzato, also known as the Ramchal. The Ramchal was born in a city called Podova in Italy. And from Italy, he got kicked out to Amsterdam. From Amsterdam, he got kicked out to Tiberias. From Tiberias, he got kicked out to Jerusalem. From Jerusalem, he got kicked out to here, to this city of Akko. You might wonder why he was kicked out. What's the story of the Ramchal? Ramchal became a rabbi in the age of 19. He was gaon. He knew the full shas of the Talmud by the age of 14, they say. And he was a gaon that you cannot uh, imagine. He was a peer of uh, Rabbi uh, Vali, and he, uh, his studies of Kabbalah was so uh, strong. He was revolutionizing in the Zohar and the mystically. He continued to have a vision of God, and he was accused of actually witchcraft like, later on. And I want you to come with me, walk with me to this holy site where the Ramchal actually established uh, a synagogue here in Akko. This is where he lived and actually three years later when he was 40 years old, that's where he died. Come with me here to the Ramchal synagogue. And you will notice in the Ramchal synagogue there is no places for women. He did not allow the women to come into the synagogue. So all the women think they went and opened the wall there, they opened this so they can hear the tefillah of these words. Now, I wanted to notice something here of me in the Ramchal synagogue. People ask me so much, why do I love the rabbis? Come, come closer. I want you to notice that there is a pit here. When the Ramchal was giving his sermon, he was not elevated. You know, sometimes you go when you give the Midrash, you elevate it, you are an Abima. Not in the case of the Ramchal. Ramchal was such a man of modesty and a man who is not uh, boastful. What is the opposite of boastful? I'm boastful. He wanted to go to the pit and speak from the pit up to the people. He wanted to be, as he say, uh, a lowly. He wanted to be humble. The famous thing about the Ramchal is his humility. So when he was giving a drasha, imagine him standing right here in front of the people, the people standing and he is underneath them. Incredible, absolutely incredible story. And as a matter of fact, the Ramchal moved to Akko and he himself, himself, wrote, by the way, he wrote many, many books, not just Torah books, not just uh, books about the scripture, not just about the Kabbalah. He wrote Psalms, he was a songwriter, he wrote a book famous of 150 Psalms, songs. And here you can see a Torah, this is the original Torah, and map, actually this is Parashat Ahazinu, you know, from the Deuteronomy. Ahazinu Hashemayim et Dabra v'tishma aretz. Im repeat, this is Parashat Ahazinu. And notice it is written on a special kind of uh, dark skin. This is called Adir skin. And this piece was no written... No yeah, it is not kosher today. And the reason it is not kosher is, is the way he written it. What did he do? How did he write it, the Ramchal? He took pomegranates, he extract a dye from the, pom from the pomegranate uh, shell, and he wrote it this way. In. Mato? In. In. Can. In. Pomegranate. Can. And he wrote it and he extracted it in such a way that he could write it. It's, uh, the story is not culture today, but there is actually the full, the full Sefer Torah here. And then, interestingly enough, I want you to see this. The Ramchal, people are praying here until uh, this, this, this day. Why this is important? Because three years later, after he lived in the land, a special uh, disease called Deva kept in the land and killed him, killed his wife, and killed his son. Now, the Ramchal wrote a book called Mesilat Yesharim that deal with Jewish ethics. 
Today, his book, Mesilat Yesharim, is the code of all Jewish law of the way of ethics. How do we have to deal with one another? Sometimes we say, well, those people did not know Yeshua and so forth. Why should we study this, the studies? There is no doubt in my mind that the people like uh, the Ramchal, who were Kedoshim, um, uh, uh, have loved God with all their hearts, and they were willing to die for Kiddush Hashem. Interestingly enough, uh, his uh, disciple, some say he was his mentor, nobody knows if it was his disciple or, or a mentor, Ra- Rabbi Vali, had quite a lot of things. He had a lot of debates with the Christians, and he had to say this about Yeshua of Nazareth. He says that Yeshua was surely, he was surely Mashiach ben Yosef, but he, he became um, uh, uh, unholy, unholy to the people because there was a baseless hatred in Israel. It's interesting, who knows what the Ramchal actually I thought about those things. But if you have a chance, come visit those sites and, and remember uh, the Kiddush Hashem that people at like the Ramchal uh, has done to, 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 to bring the the name of God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob here to this city that had so few Jews. The question we all ask to ask today is what do we are uh, willing to do for Kiddush Hashem? Uh, uh, what are we willing to give up uh, in these uh, last days? Uh, shalom and may God bless you from here from uh, Ramchal Synagogue. This holy synagogue established by the Ramchal in Akko. Litraot.